So um, one of the changes that we made to our uh, Canon is that we replaced our foam board platform with a more sturdy 3D printed platform. And Max just uh, designed it in what, CAD? Yeah, I uh, designed it in Autodesk Inventor and then took it down to the makerspace and had them 3D print it for me. Yeah, so it's a lot more stable now and it doesn't break. Yeah, and then also uh, our original plan of just uh, holding the cannon wasn't really uh, working out in our prior tests, so we added some uh, legs to it. This is just uh, some cardboard from some old posters I had. And then also we were also having problems measuring the uh, power of the cannon. Uh, so we added a ruler on the back end, and then we just measure how far we're pulling back the string to kind of regulate uh, how powerful the cannon is when we're firing it. Oh yeah, no, they're going to Rice, they, oh, I guess they are at Rice today, they're studying uh, microbiology. That's hit. That was a hit. <clears throat> All right, so this is uh, Max again here. I uh, made a few changes from the uh, last test we did because we weren't really able to get the three shots that we wanted. So uh, last time we were having a lot of trouble with the little handle here going up through the uh, PVC over here. So I just tied the uh, nylon to a little uh, piece of plastic from a tape dispenser. You know, we we're still using the ruler to kind of regulate power. All right. And then also I noticed that our accuracy wasn't very good because the ball was going uh, left and right. So I added about a nine inch uh, barrel extension using the same uh, tube from the posters that we used for the uh, stands here. So yeah, and that got the accuracy we wanted.